All right, everybody, welcome to this quick tutorial video. In today's video, this is like the first Photoshop tutorial I'm ever probably gonna do. But yeah, this is a tutorial to show you guys how to make these this 3D uh, Minecraft text in Photoshop uh, CC 2019. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Yeah, as you clearly see, we got we got the image and we got Brook Rocker. Not sorry, that's just a name or whatever. I got the text and then I made it 3D, and it definitely looks like the Minecraft text. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is just open up a new document. It doesn't nope. I mean, yeah, just make a whole new, you know, Photoshop whatever. It doesn't matter what size it is. Just make sure the background is transparent and make sure it's RGB color. Um, all right. And so what you want to do is you want to search online some like free Minecraft fonts. I already have one. Um, they're pretty easy to find. Uh, but yeah, once you get up, find a Minecraft font, so you just want to load that up, and you just want to type in Minecraft or whatever, whatever your word is, and you want to make it black. You want to make the text black. Just for now, don't worry, don't worry. Everything will be getting all fixed and ready later. See so yeah, how you get it to the right size. You can expand it, make it bigger, whatever. However you like it. Very cool, alright? So once we're here, we got Minecraft here, right, right, right? You know, it's chilling. And then what you want to do is you want to right click on here, if this menu pops up, you want to right click on the layer part. You want to scroll all the way down to where it says new 3D extrusion from selected layer. You want to click that, and then take a deep breath. Yes, I know. It looks very confusing. Take a deep breath. We're in 3D mode. Now we can do this stuff, you can move it around, it's whatever. But yeah, all you're gonna need to do is rotate around the x-axis, which is like on the top part right here. So just want to pull that up or down, and you want to get it to like around 27 to 30. That's sort of where it is. And as you can clearly see, that is way too deep right there. So what you want to do is you want to come to here, extrusion depth. You want to just drag it down, and you just want to try to find that right, right spot perfect spot I think that is good right here and then want to come right here to shape a preset you want to click that you want to click this one in the bottom left and then boom all right and then also you want to come up here you want to uncheck cast shadows because you don't you don't want it to cast any shadows and yeah it still looks pretty thick right there so you want to go over to where it says right here the little arrows going into the little circular line whatever you want to call it click here and it changed the width to 10%. 10%. And I'll give it a nice bold on it. Alright, you want to come back here to the T or whatever up there. And then you want to look down here. You want to make sure you have this open. You should have infinite lights as well. You're going to need that later. But you want to, want to do, what you want to do is select these two. These two top ones with the little mesh right there. Or you got the top two. And then you want to get the color. Uh, in the diffuse, and you want to make that a nice bright gray. A bright gray. You can always mess around with it. And then you want to select the bottom three and make it a dark gray. Not exactly black and not exactly completely white, just dark gray and light gray. And then, yeah. Then you want to come over here, you want to go to infinite light, and then what we want to do is you want to grab it and we want it to be facing right towards us just like that you want it to face down just a little bit you can kind of work fit see how it feels see how it gets darker you want to get it to that like right spots where it has a little shine you just gotta mess with it just a little bit that seems good just try to copy what I have here and then yeah we have this. Ooh, so cool, so cool. But, but it is not done yet. Uh, once you are done, you want to come over here. You want to add a gradient. When you gradient, you want to add, oops, blending options on here. Then you want to add a gradient onto the direct picture. You want to add a black to white gradient. Let's so come over here and just make that white. Make this black. All right. And then you want to put this linear and on a 90 degree angle if that dark comes up from the top. 
And then what you want to do is you want to have overlay, and then you want to bring the opacity down around 45 to 50, something like that. Yeah, sorry, like 50, 45. This is 45. That's 50. It really depends how you like it and how your image looks. So yeah, just like that. Very cool. And then what you can do there, that's this is kind of like fine. This right here, it's fine. It looks pretty cool. And you don't really do anything else. But you can add some things to make it look better. What you want to do is you want to right click on this and make sure you're completely done with all the 3D stuff. Because once we are once I click convert to smart object, which you're about to do, you can't switch it back to 3D. So yeah, we're gonna convert to smart object. So now it's like a PNG. You can just drag it around, do whatever fit. It's not in a 3D mode. All right. Then you want to click blending options again. You want to go over to stroke. You want to give it like a stroke of five, or six, maybe even seven, just because of that tiny dot I see in between the C and the R. Or I could just make it six. It all depends on how you like it. Yeah, you want the outside and you want opacity all the way up. And then yeah, if you want to be, even be extra fancy, you can come right here, you can add a little shadow to the very top. And you want to like just mess on the opacity just a bit. You just got to copy my settings right here for the inner shadow. Make the opacity a bit lower. If that kind of pops out just a tad bit. You don't want the glare to be too much, but it does really add like a little light right there. And then if you want, you could add a drop shadow, which is basically just going to give it a darker black ground. Sort of like that. You can always mess around if it's make it tighter or larger. And yeah, and if you don't like this color of dark t and black and gray, you can always change it. So you go to gradient overlay, and let's just get dark blue to green, whatever. We go to overlay, we make the opacity all the way up, and we have it on overlay again, and yeah, it just sort of works like that. So now you got a blue text as well. Of course you don't need to do this, and you can have the color whatever color you want, so you can make the scale, so if you get more something or whatever. You just really gotta mess around it yourself and see how you like it. Or you can just leave it like this and it's the original Minecraft color. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it, everybody. That is the tutorial. It's pretty easy. Um, if you are new to Photoshop, I would recommend, you know, just taking a step back and, you know, going over the tutorial a couple, couple times. Because, yeah, it is, it is pretty, uh, it's pretty tough even for me because I just found out how to do this a couple of days ago. And I thought, you know, because I figured this out, why don't I just do a tutorial for you guys? So, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy, though. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as well, because I do Minecraft content a lot, not Photoshop. If you're looking for Photoshop stuff, I, I, this is my first Photoshop thing I've ever done. So, uh, yeah. I, forget, I just thought this would be like a fun video for some people, and, you know, it could be also very helpful. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new, of course, of course. Or if you're old, just subscribe, subscribe again, please. Thank you. Make sure to ring the bell as well. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.